Hi folks, this is Lee Murphy of ArtByLeeMurphy.com and the artists you see created all the work there and here on this video channel. I am using this particular painting as an inspiration to just kind of throw around the idea of signal to noise. Recently I read some work by Daniel Kahneman, or Kahneman, I don't, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Anyway, signal and noise, things that we, in our information that comes into us that Signal is the good stuff that we can use and the noise is the stuff we filter out. Well, it seems like, especially nowadays, that we as pe you know, as a culture, or any cultures all over the place really, uh, are being trained and conditioned to focus more on a smaller and smaller and smaller section of information, and we call that signal, and discard so much more that we just considered noise or irrelevant and lose out on really. And I would suggest that uh, when folks experience art in either the consuming of, as in watching, buying, listening to, and attending performances and such like that, that it helps us process more noise. I think in our increasingly linear thought world that we miss out on so much. And I think we're actually reaping the ill benefits of that so much and basically uh, being able to widen our perceptions on, I use this painting as an example, uh, this is uh, a study I did, well not a study, but a pretty good sized painting, it's about 40 by 50, and it's of water. And basically I was the idea was how far can I go to portray something as water without it being traditionally green or blue because in our uh, linear thought world so many times we, we symbolize water as something green or blue, but water is so much more than that. Um, widen our perceptions, or widen my perceptions, is how far can I go? I mean, these are all warm colors, colors not necessarily associated with water, but I think it was fairly successful because, once again, not all water is blue. Uh, same along the lines when I ask, this is a trick question I ask people, it's like, what is the color of a tree trunk? And most people say, well, brown, because that's been the symbolization of uh, what we think of as tree trunks are made out of wood and we look around us and we see we're finished wood furniture and it's generally brown. Well, go out in the woods and see how many trees are actually brown and you don't find too many, if at all. Once again, you look at water, I mean, it's considered blue because of what reflects in the sky. It's not necessarily blue itself. It's what you see uh, through it or reflected in it. Anyhow, um, this is actually really tannic water from the St. John's River and it reflects almost like black glass. And this was the, the way the water looked underneath a boathouse of a friend of mine. And that's what, what kicked off the inspiration on basically uh, trying to widen my perception of what water looks like and how I can portray it to look like water without it being the stereotypical, you know, very, very narrowly defined symbols. And I think that might be a good thing for a lot of people to think about with basically how can you widen your receptacle or well, not really receptacle or your awareness of signal to noise and I certainly tend to think that uh, reevaluating the noise sometimes can lead to a lot more inspiration. So anyhow, hope that was helpful and thank you for watching.